Yeah, welcome! Zazlo Show 2.0. It is a Friday, the 27th of January. Good to have you aboard. You can see it's a Friday. I got my Johnny Cuba camo hat on. You know what I'm talking about. We got a lot going on here today. A lot to get to. We're excited about the weekend. It is a huge sports weekend. Obviously, we're headed toward NFL Championship Sunday. Obviously, we got Royal Rumble tomorrow night. And obviously, we got some Heat basketball and some Panther hockey here this evening. So, a lot's going on. Uh, very excited to wrap up another week with you guys. We are, of course, a Blue Wire podcast. None of this can be done as we wrap up another week of Zaslow Show 2.0. None of this can be done without all you guys' support, the support of all of my awesome sponsors and all of our future sponsors as well. Everything Zaslow Show 2.0 is brought to us by our title sponsor from day number one. That's Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. If you have an accident, personal injury, you got to make sure you get taken care of. 800-747-FREE. You get an attorney on the phone immediately. First you call 911, you get an attorney on the phone immediately. 800-747-3733. Glenn Levine, Mark Anajar, Ellie Anajar. I wouldn't be able to do this show right now if it was not for their support from day number one. Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys, they'll take care of you if you're dealing with a personal injury caused by an accident. Okay, so here's what we got coming up today. Got a fun show. It is Royal Rumble tomorrow night, and we're going to talk to our pal Peter Rosenberg. Love Peter Rosenberg, WWE panelist. He's going to join us on his way to San Antonio today for the Royal Rumble. Of course, Hot 97 up in New York. And of course, ESPN 98.7, the Michael K Show in the afternoons. Peter Rosenberg, top WWE guy. He'll join us. He's always so good to me. So appreciate him. We'll do some Royal Rumble with him. Amber Wilson, top girl. She's going to join us as well. We'll do some NFL Championship Sunday talk with her. My former co-host, now current host of Joe and Amber every night on ESPN Radio. Every weeknight, 7 to 9 p.m. You know we got big game or not a big game coming up. Got to make sure everybody knows what the big games are. Can I tell you real quick? We're not doing big movie, not a big, not a big movie. Uh, we're not doing big movie, not a big movie today. We will eventually get to it. Uh, you know, probably start that up again in a few weeks. But... There's some good movies out right now we got to get to see. I'll probably go see a movie with my son tomorrow because there are a couple movies we got flagged right now that we got to see. There's, and look, if you got suggestions for me, you, you know I, I always lean toward prison movies, time travel movies, but not every movie's about, there, there are movies about other stuff that's also good. You can hit me up, as always, at Zazlo Show on the Twitter machine, at Zazlo J on Instagram, where I'm an influencer. But you can get at me either way. And, of course, make sure you always like, you rate, you comment. Zazlo Show 2.0. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your mother I say hello. I always appreciate that. But there are a couple movies that are currently on our list right now. Number one, Missing. Do you know about Missing? Uh, if you don't, you go check. Neil Long, that's... What's his name? A uh, uh, homeboy who used to coach the Celtics, and then he did bad things. What's his name again? Uh, Ime Udoka. That's his old old girl, Nia Long. Who the hell cheats on Nia, Nia Long? I, you know, I brought back fine a few years ago. Nia Long is fine. Who cheats on Nia Long? Anyway, Nia Long is in this movie, Missing, which looks really good. And then there's also Plain, which looks really good also. That's with... What's his name? Gerard Butler, where he's a pilot of a plane that crashes and they, they get like taken hostage by, you know, people on this island. But here's the thing. There's like a bad guy on the plane. They were doing like a, a an inmate transfer. And so that guy now, he's going to help them survive against the bad guys on the island. That movie, Plane, real simple name. That movie looks good. And then there's this other movie. I don't even know how to describe it, so what I want to do is I, I want to actually look it up here. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to actually look it up here so that I can give you the proper uh, explanation of what the movie is. This movie is called Infinity Pool. It's starring Alexander Skarsgård, who he, he's, he's a weird actor. He, he, he has crazy roles. And so let me look this up for you here. Infinity Pool, which I had never heard of until earlier this morning, 
And so I'll watch the trailer. I'm like, this movie looks crazy. All right, give me one second here. Give me a second. Everybody calm down. All right, I'm, I'm putting it into my iPad. Infinity Pool. All right, here we go. This movie, James and M. Foster are enjoying an all-inclusive beach vacation in the fictional island of La Toca when a fatal accident exposes the resort's perverse subculture of hedonistic tourism, reckless violence, and surreal horrors. I, I mean, I don't know if that helps you understand the movie at all. Go watch the trailer for this movie. It looks batshit. I gotta see this movie. I'm gonna see it with my son. He's 14. He just turned 14. It's probably completely inappropriate for me to see it with him, but you better believe we're gonna see it. It's obviously rated R, but apparently it was NC-17. Movies are never NC-17 anymore. Because if a movie's NC-17, it's not gonna make any money. All right, movies are never NC-17 anymore. <coughs> and apparently this one was. You know what I think the last NC-17 movie was? Or at least that I remember in the theaters, NC-17. It was Showgirls with Elizabeth Berkley. Remember Jesse Spano? I'm so excited. Jesse Spano, Saved by the Bell. Showgirls was NC-17. I don't know if there's been an NC-17 movie in the theaters since then. For people, if you don't know the ratings... NC-17, you got to be 17 years old, but it's not like rated R where you got to be 18 or you have to be accompanied by an adult. NC-17 is you're not allowed in the theater if you're under 17 years old, which is weird because, I don't know, I'm the parent. I get to decide what my family gets to watch. Or that's a weird, like, why is someone else deciding for me? It's very weird. But this movie, Infinity Pool, looks batshit. I got to see that. All right, so yesterday... And we're, we're going to get to... Uh, Peter Rosenberg's going to join us first on the show. We're going to get to Peter. We'll do some WWE stuff. Royal Rumble. He's on his way to San Antonio right now. <coughs> and by the way, we dropped last night, myself, my pal Joey, Le Joey Levin. It's still real to me. Bonus episode came out yesterday. Bonus episode is available right now under Zaslow Show 2.0, wherever you get your podcasts. It's still real to me. We're going to have our regular show this weekend, which is going to be a recap of the Royal Rumble, of course. But last night it dropped, so it obviously won't be dated until tomorrow night when the Royal Rumble begins. But it's still real to me. Royal Rumble preview is out there. So you want to go check that out. We gave our predictions. We gave our top five Royal Rumble moments, favorite moments. Uh, we, we did a recap of Raw is Triple X, which was the Raw 30th anniversary show this past Monday night. What a, what a name for the show, Raw is Triple X. So anyway, uh, go, go and check that out. It's still real to me. <coughs> bonus episode, bonus podcast. You want to go check that out. We have a poll question for today. Go to Ad Zaslow Show and you could vote, all right? Today's poll question. What Super Bowl does the NFL want most? Who do they want? What game do they want? And of course, your choices are Bengals 49ers, Bengals Eagles, Chiefs 49ers, and guess the last one? You're right, Chiefs Eagles. And right now, the leader at 48% of the vote, so almost half the vote, <coughs> Chiefs Eagles is getting 48% of the vote. Second place is Chiefs 49ers getting 28% of the vote. So, so far, Zaslow Show 2.0 listener, 76% of you think the NFL definitely wants the Chiefs. Now, does the NFL definitely want the Chiefs? I, I don't know. About like, they wouldn't be upset if they got the Bengals because Burrow is such a huge story. But Mahomes is the face of the NFL. So, yeah, the NFL wants Chiefs. And they also want Eagles because you got the Andy Reid storyline. Chiefs, current team. Eagles, former team. You got the Andy Reid Bowl. You got Mahomes face of the NFL. You got Jalen Hurts, who <coughs> I think should win the MVP this year. The only thing that concerns me is Mahomes' health. You don't want a banged up Mahomes. Let's say, let's say he gets past the Bengals. Now, granted, you got two weeks to recover, but you don't want a banged up Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Chiefs Eagles is definitely the dream matchup. Chiefs 49ers, 49ers five Super Bowl wins. They're a national team. That's a good consolation. 
I, I think the most unappealing matchup for the NFL is Bengals 49ers. But honestly, I think any matchup you get is good because while Chiefs-Eagles, that's, that's the go-to for sure, if the Bengals make it, Joe Burrow so easy to market. That's a big-time quarterback. He's so cool. And then the 49ers, the Brock Purdy storyline is awesome. It, it, it's an incredible storyline, easy storyline to, to, to latch on to for the next couple weeks. Because you know this, all the stories, you got to pass the time, media is going to be all over these little stories. You got to have two teams going against each other where it's got some juice to it. You get some juicy storylines. So between Mahomes, face of the league, Burrow, coolest guy ever, Hurts, possible league MVP, team didn't know if they wanted him before the season started. And now you can see he's awesome. And then Brock Purdy taking over, never having lost a game. And Mr. Irrelevant, you, you got really good storylines with all four teams. So it, it's, it's a good scenario for the league no matter what. Go to Ad Zaslow Show. You could vote right now. The Panthers are back in action tonight. I want to get to the NBA. The NBA uh, announced their, their starters for the, the All-Star game yesterday. The NBA, uh, we'll get to in a moment. The Panthers are back in action tonight against the Kings. Now, Kings are really good. The Panthers have had a few days off. I'm hoping you get Spencer Knight back in goal tonight. Uh, he's been out forever, or maybe Bobrovsky. Alex Lyon has done a bang-up job filling in. Really good job, but, you know, we need to get back to the, you know, one and two goaltenders here. Let's see Let's see if there's a report here as far as morning skate today. I always check with my guy George Richards, Florida Hockey now. Nobody covers the Panthers better than George Richards. Um, let's see. Who does he have? Does he have anyone? Uh, oh, he said, wow. Uh, Barkov didn't practice yesterday. That's not a big deal. That's yesterday. Although they should be okay for, he should be okay for tonight. Does he have who was, nah, he, it, I guess we don't know. We don't know. All right. So I, I just wasted, uh, you know, about a minute of everybody's time there. I apologize. But anyway. Tonight, Panthers and Kings, and I'm going to put it out there. I, I got to be honest. I think I'm trying to go tonight. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm trying to go to Panthers tonight. So Panthers, Kings, I, I'm i trying to go, and everybody knows I'm trying to go means I'm looking for the hookup. But I think even if I, even if I don't get the hookup, I think we're going to wind up purchasing tickets Friday night, Zazlo boys, I... I'm pretty sure we're going to the Panthers. I, I'm trying to go, and I'm pretty sure we're going no matter what. The Heat play tonight as well. Heat and Magic. The Heat are five games over, looking to go a season best six games over 500. The Heat have the Magic type. Magic are always pesky against the Heat. And the Magic are not bad. Now, the record sucks, but the Magic, I, I really think the Magic are headed in the right direction. I think over the next couple of years, the Magic are, are absolutely a team that's going to be on the rise. So you get a look at your interstate rival there tonight if you go into the Heat game. The NBA last night, two big stories. Pistons beat the Nets 130-122. to 122. Kyrie Irving had 40, but this team now is 2-6 and <coughs> I think two and six now without Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving's not a leading guy. He'll put up the great numbers and a sick handle. He's not a leading guy. You're not a winning team if Kyrie Irving's your best player. And it goes to show right now. They, they, I mean, also the Pistons. Pistons are as bad as anyone. The Knicks last night, guts win by the Knicks. 120-117 to 117 in overtime against the Celtics. On the road, Julius Randle, 37 points. Celtics have lost three in a row. So, And Jalen Brown missing two free throws late. Big choke job there. Excellent job by the Knicks. They're right behind Miami. They're a half game behind Miami, number seven. The Heat are number six, looking to, looking to continue climbing the standings. Two games back in the loss column, the Heat are, of Cleveland. you got games against Cleveland and New York coming up next week. Very huge stretch. The NBA announced their all-star starters. That's, of course, 50% is fan vote, 25% player vote, 25% uh, media. And then coaches vote the reserves. That's where Bam Adebayo is going to get in. I do believe he'll be voted in by the, by the coaches. Jimmy Butler's got a chance there too, but Jimmy missed a ton of games, so I don't know. Bam will get in via the coaches. The Eastern All-Stars, and you got to remember, this isn't these guys aren't necessarily going to be teammates because you get five East starters, five West starters, and then they pick the teams. So of these 10 players, they could be mixed and matched, but these guys are going to be the 10 starters. <coughs> 
This year, they're picking the team's playground style right before the game starts. Now, if I could tell you, I hate this. Although hate hates maybe a strong word. It's kind of fun seeing the players pick the teams. But I hate this, not because they're picking it right before the game starts. I don't care about that so much. That's funny. But here's my problem. When I'm watching the All-Star game, and I rarely do anymore, because I I, I, I'm not interested in it. But when I watch the All-Star game now, I don't know who's on what team. I don't know who's on the bench for that team right there. I don't know who's on the bench for that team right there. I don't know who's on which team. When all these years, East versus West, all right, I know who the East starters are. Uh, the East players are. I know who the West players are. I know who's on the bench. I know who's, you know, you can put this guy in. You could, East, West. I, I understand. But now you do like Team Giannis versus Team LeBron. I don't know who's on which team. So that, I I don't like that part of the All-Star game anymore. But anyway, the Eastern starters, your forwards are Giannis, Durant, and Tatum. The guards are Irving and Mitchell. The West, you got LeBron, Jokic, Williamson. And the the guards are Dunchich and Curry. Luka Doncic got hurt last night. Mavericks still held on and won. They beat Phoenix. He left the game with an ankle injury, did not return. Ben Simmons left yesterday uh, because he salt his tissue paper. So anyway, those are the two games last night from the NBA. That stood out. There you have it. We're hoping for a double dip tonight, of course, with the Panthers and the Heat. Like I told you, I'm trying to go tonight. I'm trying to go. Now, I told you guys this Sunday. Now, we got big game, not a big game coming up. All right. I told you guys, though, this Sunday, Briny Irish Pub, Pompano Beach, that's my spot. The Zazzle boys are going to be out there. My cousin's coming with me as well. We got a whole crew that's going to be out there at Briny Irish Pub, Pompano Beach for which game is first? I think it's the AFC Championship. We're going to be out there for the 3 o'clock game. No, it's the NFC Championship. So you want to come out to the Briny, park right behind the Briny. You don't have to pay for parking. They'll validate your tag. World's greatest upscale dive bar. You drive east on Atlantic all the way to the ocean. Boom, the Briny is right there on your right-hand side. Live music every day. You got happy hour, the Briny hour, Monday through Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. Great craft beers on tap. You know I'll be getting loose on Sunday afternoon, so come and join me out there at the Briny. Again, Briny Irish Pub, Pompano Beach. That's my spot for all the big games. And you come on and hang out with me this Sunday, world's greatest upscale dive bar.